More developments today following the November 4th election and today Sheriff elect C. Bernal delivering on a post election promise to name his management team by Thanksgiving. He did that this afternoon. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live in Salinas to show us the new team members. Well, Aaron, Sheriff elect Steve Bernal won't take the reins of this office until January, but today we get our first look at those who will help run it. Please welcome the next sheriff of Monterey County. Monday afternoon, Sheriff elect Steve Bernal introduced us to his two top managers who will help him run a department with 400 employees and a nearly $90 million budget. These two gentlemen come to the job with 57 years combined experience in patrol, jail operations, SWAT, gang task force, and administrative experience, and they both have deep roots in the Monterey County Sheriff's Office. Tapped as the second in charge of the department is Galen Bonner, a former deputy who's a lieutenant with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. And Tracy Brown, a retired sheriff's commander, will be chief of operations. The appointments Bernal makes will be closely scrutinized considering his lack of management experience and technical know-how to run such a huge department. You know what, I'm, I, today I'm answering my if I can lead this department, and this is this today was the first step. These I, I have confidence in these gentlemen that they're not going to tell me what I want to hear. They're going to tell me what I need to hear, and I can trust them. I'm there to support him 100%. I have no axes to grind. I have no uh, um, expectations of uh, owing anybody anything. Um, and my whole goal is to do the right thing. Sheriff-elect Bernal says he's now focused on hiring a chief to run the jail and oversee an $80 million expansion. Bernal says he doesn't plan to look far for those who will help implement his 10-year plan for the sheriff's office. Look at the idea is to look in-house. The Your best administrators are should always come from within house. And we still need I, I still need to interview a couple of people, and I need to make sure that they're up to the challenge. And today, Steve Bernal even saying that he would consider members of Scott Miller's management team to be part of his new administration. As for this transition between Bernal and Miller, Miller said he would work with Bernal to make it a smooth transition only if Steve would reach out to him. To late this afternoon, Steve Bernal said he plans to make that call soon. Aaron, Dan. All right, uh, Felix, thank you. Felix Cortez reporting live for us tonight. Well, tonight we have some new information about the vote that made Steve Bernal our sheriff-elect. Today, Action News broke down that vote count in the race for sheriff by which parts of Monterey County went Bernal and which parts went for Scott Miller. Geographically, the numbers show four cities in the county, Pacific Grove, Monterey, Seaside, and San City, as the only cities where Sheriff Miller won more votes than the challenger. In parentheses, you will also see on your screen the margin by which Miller held those cities. In San City, that margin was one vote. All the other cities and the unincorporated area of Monterey County tilted toward Bernal.